This section is on complete graphs. Okay, uh, if a graph has a Hamilton circuit, then how many different Hamilton circuits does it, uh, it have? Sorry, there's a little typo there. Um, uh, a graph with n vertices, so the number of vertices, in which every pair of distinct vertices is joined by an edge is called a complete graph on n, the number of vertices, and denoted by the symbol k. And that should say kn, that should say k sub n. So I'm going to rewrite that for you. So k, it would look like this, k sub n. And uh, basically, um, a complete graph is just where all the vertices are touching every other vertices, so they're all connected to each other. Okay, so a few examples here. Each, uh, each vertex has a degree of n minus 1. So notice in K3, we have three vertices. So uh, in this case, n equals 3. And uh, the degree is 2 on each one. So the degree of A is, it's got two edges coming out of it. Same for B and C. And notice in uh, K4, we have four vertices. So n equals 4. And each vertice or each vertex is connected to every other vertex, and uh, each vertex has degree 3. So once again, just n, n minus 1. So 4 minus 1, making... Sorry, it's a little sloppy. <laughs> um, 4 minus 1, making 3. Um, and you can do the same thing with the K5 and K6. Uh, therefore, the sum of all the degrees are n, so the number of vertices times the degree of that. So we have the number of vertices times the degree of each one. Um, and one more thing is that the number of edges comes from the number of vertices times the degree of each one, okay, so the sum of all the degrees, divided by two. And the syntax, the syntax isn't great on that. What it really should look like is n times n minus one all over two. Of course, oper order of operations won't really make much of a difference there, the way you type that in. All right, uh, number of edges in K, again, K7. Okay, so K7 has uh, N times N minus one, all divided by two edges. So just kind of repeating that formula for you. And of all the graphs with the number of n number of vertices and no multiple edges or loops, k sub n has the most edges. So usually with complete graphs, we're not going to be working with uh, multiple edges uh, or loops as much. All right, here's an example. So a uh, Hamilton circuit in K4. So uh, this, again, is uh, a complete graph where every vertex is connected to every other vertex. If we travel the four vertices of k sub 4, um, in an arbitrary order, we get a Hamilton path. For example, uh, if we start at C, so we're starting here at C, and we can go to A, and it's already illustrated here for you, A, D, B, and we've created the Hamilton path. We've gone through all the vertices. Uh, here's another, so D, C, A, B. Okay, and uh, each one of these can really uh, be closed into a Hamilton circuit. So going back, starting at C, again, notice that we go over to A, D, B, and then we can come back to C. So instead of just a path, we can make that a circuit. Okay, uh, same thing here. We have D, C, A, B, and then we go back to D to make it a circuit. It is important to remember that the same Hamilton circuit can be written in many ways. For example, uh, if we have our starting point as C, we can go C, A, and let me trace over this, we can go C, A, D, B, C, okay? And this is kind of the same thing as, hold on, let me erase what I've done. Uh, this is kind of the same thing as if we were to start somewhere else. We're still hitting all the same points in the same order. Everything's just kind of uh, moved around or translated around. So let's do that again, except we're starting with A, D, B, C, A. 
So we're still like, we're still following all the same arrows, all the, going all the same directions. The only difference here is that uh, in the first example, C was is what we're going to call the reference point. It's like the starting point, and then A is the reference point in the second example. And here's a chart for your reference. Um, this just says there are n minus 1 factorial distinct Hamilton circuits in k sub n. So, um, by the way, factorial, you may have seen that before, you may not. That's the little exclamation mark right there. Uh, so factorial basically just means, if I, for example, if I had 3 factorial, let's just multiply all the digits down to 1 from that number. So that's 3 times 2 times 1. And that makes 6. Um, so, for example, if we have 4, like, uh, or 5, we'll use uh, n equals 5. So we would have 5 minus 1 factorial. So the B, oops, having some problems here. <laughs> um, all right, so that'd be 4 factorial which is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, and that makes 24. That's where we get the 24 from. So that's how many distinct Hamilton circuits uh, there are in a graph with that many vertices. Uh, notice that uh, the more vertices we have, the number of distinct circuits increases quite dramatically. Um, so you get into the millions and billions even.